So, great to see you again. Secretary General Dear Jens, uh, it is a great uh, honor for me to welcome you to Bucharest and uh, to host, uh, uh, starting tomorrow, the um, uh, Foreign Ministerial of uh, NATO, the first such uh, meeting taking place in uh, Romania. And um, the fact that this is um, uh, being hosted in, uh, in Bucharest is, uh, I think, a token of uh, NATO's commitment towards uh, the security of Romania and of the Romanian citizens. And at the same time, I think a recognition uh, of uh, Romania's role within the Alliance and our strong commitment for the values of the Alliance and also, of course, a recognition of the strategic importance of the Black Sea. Mm -hmm. And I remember that you um, came to Bucharest in February, it was just uh, before the war started, yes. and we were discussing about how to strengthen the uh, presence of, uh, of the Alliance in, uh, in Romania. And now we gather in uh, Bucharest to discuss how to counter the effects of uh, the Russian war of aggression mm -hmm. against Ukraine and how to best implement the decisions of uh, the Madrid summit, especially uh, very important, especially the ones on uh, enhancing our uh, eastern flank. So, uh, once again, thank you so much, uh, Secretary General Dier Jens, for your leadership at the helm of uh, NATO. And I hope we will have a very good ministerial. Yeah. Minister Der Bogdan, uh, first of all, thank you so much for the warm uh, welcome and thank you also for your strong personal commitment to our transatlantic alliance to NATO uh, and also uh, for your leadership in helping to transform uh, NATO and adapt NATO to a more dangerous uh, world. And um, uh, I uh, am very uh, pleased uh, by the fact that uh, now we have the foreign minister meeting uh, here in Bucharest uh, starting tomorrow, uh, that uh, demonstrates uh, the important role that Romania is uh, playing in our alliance. Um, it also demonstrates that NATO is here to protect and defend uh, all allies. And uh, as you mentioned, um, we have increased our presence uh, in Romania, um, in the Black Sea region, um, uh, over many years uh, since uh, Russia's uh, illegal annexation of Crimea back in 2014. But after the uh, uh, Russian invasion of, uh, of uh, uh, Ukraine in February, we have stepped up further with uh, more troops, uh, more, more uh, air and uh, naval presence, and all of this demonstrates that NATO is committed to defend every inch of uh, allied territory, and the, the reason uh, we do that is of course uh, to prevent an attack on an allied country and to uh, prevent escalation of the war uh, in Ukraine. I, I'm looking forward to the meeting tomorrow also because that provides us with an uh, opportunity to reiterate the strong message from NATO allies, uh, including Romania, that we uh, support Ukraine, we support the right to self-defense, and uh, that we need to uh, continue uh, to provide uh, both military support but also humanitarian and financial support. And again, uh, I would like to uh, commend the role of Romania hosting uh, a large number of refugees and also providing support to, to, uh, to Ukraine, helping them to fight back uh, the Russian uh, invasion. Uh, and then we also meet with um, uh, foreign ministers of all the partners from Bosnia and Herzegovina, from, uh, from Georgia, uh, but also from Moldova, a neighbor of, uh, of uh, uh, Romania, uh, demonstrating that we need to strengthen our partnership with other uh, partners uh, that are uh, under pressure uh, from uh, Russia. So it will be an important uh, foreign minister in Bucharest. And again, thank you so much for hosting all of us. Thank you. Thank you.